time Baby, you make me feel fine When you got your hands in mine You went on my mind Lately, I tell you all the time Baby, you make me feel fine When you got your hands in mine This is one of our favorite cities to visit ever. Like literally we try to come once a year because we love it so much. And in the past we've even considered moving to Seattle just because we love it so much. But anyway, but yeah, we just checked into our Airbnb. So of course I have to give you guys a tour. So here's the front door. When you walk in, this is what it looks like. There's like a little lamp thing here. Those are our slippers and a nice shoe mat for our shoes. Then coming here, there's a bathroom. Pretty simple. Got all your basic stuff, shower, tub, toilet, you know, mirror, really big mirror, and lots of counter space for all of our stuff. And then coming this way, I think this is a closet. Oh, it's the laundry. Oh, that's nice. In-unit laundry, perfect. And then over here, it's the kitchen. So refrigerator, stove, microwave, sink, very nice and clean. And then over here, there's like the living room area. There's a couch, coffee table, little desk, or like dining area, I guess. And then this TV, I was telling Bird that it's actually so small. <laughs> and he was like, Michael Scott TV vibes. If you know, you know. <laughs> And also what we've noticed about this place is that there's not that many lights or it's not very bright. Like there's a lot of lamps. There's one here, one here. There's some recess lighting there and there's two more lamps in the bed room area. I don't even know if you could call this a bedroom. It has like sliding doors as the doors. But yeah, it's like actually quite not bright. But anyway, this is the bed area. Like I said, there's sliding doors here and this is very narrow. <laughs> and then there's another sliding door here to close off the area and a closet here with extra pillows and linens. So nice. The reason I booked to this Airbnb was because it has a really good location. So it's in Capitol Hill. It's like two blocks away from Molly Moon's, which is Bird's favorite ice cream place. And it's right by this like soccer field that we used to always pass when we would like visit. <laughs> Or like hang out in Capitol Hill. There's literally a boba shop right next door and we tried it last time and it was surprisingly good and it's super, super cute inside. So I feel like if there's some days where I need to get some work done, I might go down there and work at that boba shop because they have like Wi-Fi and tables and plugs. So yeah, I'm excited to stay at this Airbnb because the location is so good. Should be very convenient. And we also usually don't get a car when we're in Seattle. So location is everything. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah! See ya! <laughs> Bird loves Seattle. Yeah, yummy food time. Okay. <laughs> also, we landed in Seattle at 8 and it literally looked like it was like 5 p.m. because it was still super bright outside and we checked what time the sun sets here and today it's at 9, 10 p.m. That's wild. <laughs> so we've actually never really been to Seattle in the summertime. There was one time we went during Labor Day like four years ago, but other than that we haven't really experienced a like Seattle summer. So I'm excited to just have all the, the daytime, the extra daytime I guess. But what I'm not excited for is that this week it's supposed to be like 85, like all week. So not excited for that, but excited for food, excited for Seattle, excited for everything. Nice. Life. <laughs> yeah, so now we're just gonna get a little so settled in, but we are actually gonna go meet our friends who we met on the Disney cruise, actually. So we're gonna go meet up with them and have some dim sum because apparently there's like a place that serves dim sum until midnight, which is so rare in the Bay Area because most places only serve it in the morning or afternoon, you know, brunch time basically. So yeah, I'm excited for some dim sum. All I ate today so far was sweet green and some sago and a little snack mix on the plane. <laughs> so I am hungry. Let's go eat dim sum! Woo! <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning vlog! It is the next day. Last night we had dim sum at Hong Kong Bistro and it was really good and they opened until midnight which is super nice. Like places here open later. I feel like places in SF close at like 8 or 9. So that's super nice and the food was really good actually and they had so many different things on their menu. But yeah, today we're kind of taking it easy. It's a Sunday. We're gonna walk around I think we're gonna get some noodles, but I'm gonna be filming all the stuff we eat for the main channel video. But yeah, we're kind of going with the flow, taking it easy. I think we're kind of winging it on this trip, although winging it for me still means there's a plan and stuff because I am very into like making itineraries and stuff like that. But yeah, today we're gonna check out a noodle place. We're gonna walk around Seattle, enjoy it, and see where the day takes us. <laughs> We found a farmer's market and we are hella thirsty so we got this apple cider it's very cold which is nice because it's so hot today but they ran out of pints so we had to get the half gallon we figured whatever we don't finish we can just bring back to the airbnb but i am parched oh. i love your outfit mm. wow it's so refreshing and cold. It tastes very fresh, fresh apples. It reminds me of when we were students at Davis. They would always have farmer's markets and we would go and always get the apple cider. And it was so good. So this reminds me of that. Good. It does remind me of it. Right? <laughs> Add this to the saga of Bird tying his shoes. Bird ties his shoes in Seattle next to a free chair. <laughs> okay, so a lot of these Seattle vlogs are actually going to be voiceovers because when I travel, I'm so focused on filming the main channel video that I forget to vlog, which by the way, all the food reviews are going to be in the main channel video, so make sure to go watch that. Anyway, we went and ate a bunch of food, and then we took a little break and browsed in some of the local shops around Capitol Hill, and they were so cute, so highly recommend doing that. And then we got a little snack before dinner, which were these tacos, and we ate them on the rooftop of our Airbnb building. Then we went to dinner at Rondo and ended the night with Bird's favorite ice cream in Seattle, Molly Moon's. Ever since we tried it six years ago, he always insists on going multiple times whenever we visit. <laughs> Cute! I think it's cute. The next day, Bird actually had to work, so we went to this boba shop right next to where we were staying, and the last time we tried it, I actually thought it was not bad. However, spoiler alert from the main channel video, but neither of us liked our drinks from this time around. But anyway, it was cute, and we just worked there for like five hours or so. Then we grabbed dinner with one of our college friends at this place called Di Fiora. It was so pretty inside and the food was not bad as well. And then we went to Drip Tea and we weren't really feeling like a milky drink. So we both got like fruit slash floral drinks and they were eh, <laughs> they were kind of mid. And then our other friends picked us up and drove us over to Bellevue for this karaoke place that's also a restaurant. Ooh. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, wow. Oh, so Our room's name is Prada. <laughs> oh, cute. They have these really nice karaoke rooms in the back, and you can also order food and have it delivered to your room, which, by the way, the food was surprisingly so good.
The next day was actually July 4th and so I figured some businesses would be closed but I thought you know where things wouldn't be closed? Chinatown because Chinatown barely even closes on Christmas okay. <laughs> But turns out I was wrong because I had a list of like six or seven places I wanted to go but we only ended up going to three because the rest of them were closed. We checked out this huge Japanese supermarket and I loved looking through the kitchenware section as well as their ready-made foods. They had so many options like fresh fish, poke, katsu, okonomiyaki, and we also went to get boba at Seattle Best Tea where they have free unlimited toppings. So I'll definitely have to take mom there someday. I got jasmine milk tea with boba. I got heavy oolong. Heavy oolong milk tea, milk tea with, with boba. boba. And this place, you can have free unlimited toppings. Mom's dream come true. Also, this is a darker jasmine than I'm used to. Usually jasmine's like a light color. True. All right, cheers. Cheers. Hmm. How do you like your drink? The boba is a bit on the hard side, but the drink's not bad. I kind of like the boba, actually. I like how it's kind of hard, but it's a little chewy too. I feel like you like hard boba though. Maybe, maybe I do. I like the drink flavor too. Yum. Tasty. Anyway, then we had some Lao food at Taurus Ox and walked to a nearby park that was really nice. <laughs> Honey, we're... Oh, oh. We're, 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 uh, what are we we're doing? panning. Oh, okay. Which way? This way. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? <laughs> nice. There were groups of people playing games, picnicking, enjoying the warm weather, and the views were absolutely incredible. Something I love about Seattle is that there's just so many nice places to sit and talk and hang out. Then we headed to dinner where we got some really pretty and yummy hand rolls and then we went to our friend's house to watch the fireworks because he has a rooftop with a really nice view. concludes part one of our Seattle vlogs. If you made it this far, comment below, Farmer's Market Apple Juice, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!